No diet, no exercise. How I lost belly fat in one week. Do you have that one item of clothing hanging in the back of your closet that's perhaps a little on the small size, but you swear up and down one of these days you're gonna lose the weight and rock that skin-tight dress? Yep, me too. The biggest thing holding me back from putting on that dress is… my belly. Literally. So I decided to do something about it. I got rid of the pooch in just a week without any extreme dieting or hours at the gym. You want to know my secret? Well, just keep on watching. But first, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Brightside puts out lots of helpful videos like this one every single day. So be sure to hit that notification bell too. That way, you won't miss a thing. Okay, I'll start by telling you what brought this little experiment on in the first place. When I say I decided to get rid of my gut, perhaps I didn't use the right term. I was basically thrown into panic mode when the guy of my dreams asked me out one day and I had just one week to slim down my waistline. But it's not like that was the only reason I wanted to do it. I'd been feeling kind of puffy and sluggish around that time, and I wasn't liking it one bit. I wanted to not only look drop-dead gorgeous in that body-hugging number, but also feel better. First and foremost, I started by doing some research. I was surprised to find out that fat isn't always the culprit when it comes to extra inches around the midsection. If you've just recently noticed that you're not fitting into your clothes the way you did not so long ago, it's more likely a result of bloating and water weight. It sounded exactly like what I was going through, so I drew up a list of goals I wanted to achieve. Get rid of bloating. Reduce water retention. Reconsider my diet and lifestyle. 1. What I did to reduce bloating So bloating is definitely not fat. It's air or gas that collects in your gut and causes the stomach to feel tight, full, and swollen. Once I'd established that I was indeed bloated, here's what I did to reduce it. I tried this thing called acupressure, since I'd read that it really helps with bloating. I used the following two methods. The first pressure point can be found about four fingers above your belly button. I massaged this spot for three minutes using both clockwise and counterclockwise movements. It really does relieve stomach cramps and prevent gas formation. The other point is four fingers below your belly button. Again, I massaged this spot for three minutes moving in clockwise and counterclockwise circles. This is supposed to stimulate your intestines and get rid of heaviness in the stomach. Yeah, I'd say it works. Consuming more ginger is another bloat-reducing trick I read about. You can drink it as a tea or eat it fresh. To prepare ginger tea, I peeled and diced about three ounces of ginger root and put it in a teapot. I then added three cups of water, let it come to a boil, and waited for it to cool down. I squeezed in some lemon juice, stirred in half a teaspoon of honey, and that's it! This drink wasn't just useful for getting rid of bloating, it tasted really good, too. You can also just eat a teaspoon of grated ginger before meals. That's what I did, but it was a little too spicy for my liking. I only realized later that I could sprinkle ground ginger over my dishes. Oops. Oh well, maybe I'll try that method in the future. Finally, along with the acupressure and ginger recipes, I started adding turmeric powder to my water and smoothies. I tried to drink more peppermint tea as well. They're both really effective at alleviating nasty bloating. 2. How I got rid of water weight Getting my bloated stomach under control was just half the battle. I also needed to flush out the excess fluid that was building up inside my body. At least, that's what the experts recommend according to my research. Here's exactly what I did to get rid of this so-called fluid retention. I cut way down on my salt intake. I read that too much sodium, which is the stuff that's in salt, causes the body to retain more water. This would explain that puffy feeling I'd been having before the experiment began. I included more potassium-rich foods in my diet. Potassium helps get rid of water weight by reducing sodium levels in the body. It also makes you pee more, so that excess fluid makes its way out of your body. For that reason, tomatoes, bananas, spinach, avocados, beetroot, and coconut water became my best friends. I also tried making dandelion tea a couple of times. This herb is a natural diuretic, which means, like potassium, it increases urine production in the body. It really does work, but if you decide to give it a go, 
just be ready for lots of inconvenient trips to the bathroom. I tried to consume fewer carbs, since they supposedly increase your insulin levels. Insulin makes your body retain more sodium, and you already know what that means — more water retention. So I cut down on processed sugar and other sweeteners, as well as all kinds of desserts, chocolate, and refined grains. This was certainly one of the toughest aspects of the experiment. But to tell you the truth, it's not that restrictive of a diet, so you don't really feel like you're dieting. Finally, your biggest ally when it comes to reducing water weight is… water. Surprising, right? But it's true. The more water you drink, the less liquid builds up in your body. 3. How I changed my lifestyle and reconsidered my diet Before I started this experiment, I didn't really have the worst diet out there. But I did realize what changes could be made. I replaced carbs with protein. No, I didn't feel starved or unhappy. I actually felt lighter and full of energy. Nuts, fish, dairy products, and meat turned out to be no less delicious than junk food and pastries. I reduced my portion sizes but ate more often throughout the day. Instead of three huge meals, I had six that weren't particularly big but were still big enough to fill me up. I gave up soda and other sugary drinks. Believe it or not, carbonated drinks make you bloated and gassy. I completely quit the sugary store-bought stuff and made my own tasty and fat-burning drinks at home. Here are some of my favorite recipes. To make a super refreshing and slimming citrus drink, throw half a cup of pomegranate, half a cup of grapefruit, a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of honey into a blender. And that's it. Enjoy. I sure did. To prepare a coconut water drink, grab one fourth cup of pineapple, a cup of coconut water, half a teaspoon of ground fennel seeds, and a bit of black salt. Again, blend it all together, and you're all set. Oh, drank mine on ice, so you should try it that way, too. This celery cocktail is easy to make, too. You'll need half a cup of celery, a cup of water, half a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and a pinch of ground black pepper. Blend the celery with the water, pour it into a glass, add the vinegar and pepper, stir it, and drink up. The lifestyle changes were a no-brainer. Instead of the elevator, I took the stairs. Instead of parking near the entrance to some place, I parked further away and walked. Instead of sitting in front of the TV all evening, I went for short 15 to 30-minute walks. Basically, any little thing I could do to get moving more, I did it. See? No gym membership needed. I did try one specific exercise you can do for bloating, and it's called the stomach vacuum. It's not as scary as it sounds. All you have to do is get on all fours and inhale deeply while loosening up your stomach muscles. Then, when you exhale, tighten your belly muscles and hold it for 20 to 30 seconds. I did this for just five minutes a day, and I saw a big difference within a week. What can I say in the end? It all worked! That dress ended up fitting me better than ever. Oh, and I got lots of compliments from my date. But what started as a one-week experiment actually became changes I've made for good. I look and, more importantly, feel so much better. So if you're dealing with bloating, excess weight, or just low energy and feeling sort of bleh, why not make these lifestyle changes, too? Do you have your own recipes for losing a dress size in a week? Share your secrets in the comments below. If this video has helped you out, give it a like and share it with your friends! Stay happy and healthy on the Bright Side of Life!